The Civic Center of Anderson opened its doors in June of 1990, so we celebrated our 25th birthday last year. I can tell you last year, which was the 15th fiscal year for the county, we hosted a record-breaking 214 events in the Civic Center of Anderson. That was up 60% from fiscal year 13, so we are busier than ever. I call the Civic Center the community's communal living room. We've had weddings here, we've had uh, funerals here, we have high school graduations, special needs prom, you name it, it happens here. And it, it helps that we have 37,000 square feet of meeting space and it's very flexible and that allows us to host a wide variety of events. The Civic Center of Anderson is part of what we call the Anderson Sports and Entertainment Center, which is 337 acres of land. We have the William Floyd Amphitheater, which seats 13,000 people for concerts. That sits on about 10 acres of land. The Anderson Sports Center sits on about 80 acres of land. And then we have two large parcels across the street from ASEC that are also ours. The 45-acre uh, Recycling Education Center is part of the ASEC environment, as is the 35-acre balloon launch field. We have the largest ballroom in Anderson County. Our ballroom is 7,000 square feet and it's divisible by four, so that gives us a lot of flexibility. Right behind the ballrooms is what we call the arena and that is 28,000 square feet of meeting space. And then we have 2,000 square foot small meeting rooms that are used for smaller events. So 37,000 square feet of space, the entire building is around 45,000 square feet. Certainly our largest outdoor event is the Great Anderson County Fair, which is here the last week in April and the first week in May. And last year they drew 65,000 people and they used the inside of the Civic Center and the outside of the Civic Center. And basically they set up a small version of Disneyland over the course of a week, run the fair for two weeks, and then in one day break it all down and take it to Greenville County where they do the Greenville County Fair four days later. Last year and this year, Little John Coliseum at Clemson is uh, being is shut down for renovations. So the Business Industry Showcase needed a place to come and one of the board members who actually works for Anderson County suggested they look at the Civic Center. They came here, ran their event, they just were blown away by how good our space worked and more importantly how easy it was to park all the school buses. April 7th through 10th the American Bass Anglers will be staging the Race Scott Championship at Green Pond Landing and Event Center in Anderson County facility on Lake Hartwell. That fishing tournament has a trade show that will be held at the Civic Center and their final day weigh-in on Sunday, April 10th, will be in the William Floyd Amphitheater. And that's about a 200 boat tournament, which would be the second largest tournament we've ever hosted at Green Pond. You had earlier asked me, you know, how come you're hosting 60% more events than you were two years ago? And a lot of the credit goes to the staff at the Civic Center of Anderson. And our staff is very small. We only have five full-time employees and we do have a state trustee inmate from the county jail who is permanently assigned to us. So we do all this with six people. We're in the fourth year of a five-year half million dollar capital improvement plan. Uh, in 2018, we will start another five-year plan. And our hope is around 2020, again working with county council to get the money we really are in desperate need of more soccer fields and we actually have a plan to put three fields on the balloon launch field along with some bocce ball courts and a baseball field and since the fields wouldn't be lit the balloon festival balloons of our anderson could still use the launch field every year on the second weekend in october so that's the next big plan some of the projects that we made investments in the past four years, uh, the biggest one, we put a new bathroom building by the tennis courts, and that really services the tennis courts, the disc golf course, and the two new ball fields that we added six years ago. Uh, we also built batting cages. We built three batting cages. We built permanent bocce ball courts because Special Populations Recreation Special Olympics, which is part of my division, bocce is a, is a Special Olympic sport, so they actually practice on our bocce ball courts. Uh, so we have, we've done all sorts of great projects. Uh, this upcoming year, we're gonna be spending money on four things. We're gonna be putting $45,000 into the first phase of Kid Venture 2.0. We're gonna be removing a lot of the ancient wooden playground equipment and replacing it with modern metal ADA compliant playground equipment. 
We're also going to have to spend $20,000 to repair the infields at six of our ball fields. All of the rain we had in October, November, and December really did number on the fields, and we need balls bouncing the right way when people are playing on them. We also are spending about $15,000 to repair some uh, badly mangled fencing at our soccer field, and we're going to spend $10,000 to put wooden roofs on the four dugouts of the two new ball fields we built six years ago.